Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hola, como estas? See me again in another video. And this opportunity, uh, we are going to talk about will or be going to in passive sentence constructions. Before we talk about a will and be going to in passive uh, structures, um, let's review what you have learned about will and be going to. Okay, previously you have learned that uh, will and be going to have slight differences. Uh, will is used when we talk about a spontaneous plan or spontaneous decision. Uh, we can also use will for predicting something without clear sign. And we, and if we want to uh, make promises, we also use will. Well, we use be going to when we talk about prior plans or when we want to predict something with the clear signs. All right. The big questions in this video is how we construct passive sentences with will and be going to. All right, let's take a look here. I have an example. There is a picture with a man uh, having a problem with his bike. And then and the other man tries to help him. And then he says, don't worry, I will fix your bike at once. Okay, take a look the first example. So the man says, don't worry, I will fix your bike at once. Okay, now let's take a look at another example. If the is, don't worry, your bike will be fixed at once. Here, again, the sentence is different right now. Don't worry, your bike will be fixed at once. Okay, now let's take a look here. We have two different constructions of the sentences. The first sentence is, don't worry, I will fix your bike at home. Well, the second is, don't worry, your bike will be fixed at once. And the question is, which one is active sentence? Yep. That's right. The answer is the first sentence is an active sentence because the meaning of the words well fix means akan memperbaiki in Bahasa Indonesia. While in the second sentence, the words will be fixed means akan diperbaiki. Okay, now let's focus on the second sentence now. The second sentence says, don't worry, your bike will be fixed at once. So the meaning of the words will be fixed is akan diperbaiki in uh, Bahasa Indonesia. Now let's take a look at the formulations of how the passive sentence is constructed with will. Here we have will and then together with be. And right after the word B is followed by past participle. So remember, when we construct passive sentence with will, the formulation is will, B, and past participle. So we have already created a sentence with the words D with will. All right, if one sentence is not enough for you, I have other examples uh, of using a will in passive sentence here because your application will be processed here's the words will be processed mean akan diproses and the second sentence says your order will be sent in minutes and the words will be sent mean akan dikirim and in the third sentence we have your certificate will be given now and also, the meaning is passive, will be given, means akan diberikan. So remember, the formulation is, take a look, will, be, and pass participle. All right, 
All right, now be going to in active or passive sentences. Now let's take a look at the sentence I have made. It says, I'm going to redecorate my bathroom. And the second sentence, my room is going to be redecorated. So let's take a look two sentences I made here. The first sentence I say, I'm going to redecorate my bathroom. And the second sentence says, I, uh, my room is going to be redecorated. Okay, guys, let's take a look those sentences. We have different verbs. The first sentence has redecorate as the verb. And the second sentence has uh, is going to be redecorated as the verbs. So the question is, which one um, is active sentence? Yep, the first sentence has the verb redecorate, that means an active verb, and the meaning is akan menata ulang. While in the second sentence we have be redecorated, that means akan ditata ulang. Okay, menata ulang, and ditata ulang. Alright, now let's focus on how we construct the passive sentence with be going to. Here, the sentence says, my room is going to be redecorated. And the meaning is, akan ditata ulang. So, if ke we can see the formulation, it starts with B. Okay, and the B is, is. And then right after B is, going to and after the word going to another b okay and then the last one is always past participles so this is the way how we construct passive sentence with be going to remember b and the word be in here must be changed uh, with is are or am it depends on the subject. We use is in the sentence because the subject is my room. And then after that, going to. And then followed by B. And the last is past participle. Alright, if you think uh, one example is not enough, I got um, other examples. First sentence says, I'm going to be accepted in Oxford University here. Pattern is am going to be accepted. That means akan diterima. And the second sentence says our money is going to be transferred tonight. The formulation is is going to be transferred. That means akan dikirim in bahasa Indonesia. And in the third sentence we have their children are going to be adopted so we have are going to be and adopted and it means akan diadopsi so those three sentences have similar patterns which is be going to be and past participle so this is how we construct passive sentence with be going to all right, that's all I can tell you about will and be going to in passive sentences. If you still have lots thing to us, feel free to ask me in virtual meeting. See you around and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye everybody.